all right cool so now within the body i want to create a table i want to create a table so a bootstrap table and i'll just type table and i can give it the classes that i want i want to give it a class called table and and i want to also give it a class called table hover i want to be able to hover around the table and i also want to make it a borderless table so i'll type table um borderless and i'll hit enter that is it you are there now the head the table head like we had it already um i want to give it the first head let me call the scope the scope and i'll just call it a row sorry a column and this is between the item and then i'll return the same table head with nothing the scope column all right good so with nothing on it and then let's come to the table body table body um inside the body we want to have a row table row. And the table data for the first one let's say um get votes and then the second part let's call it um table data so that's the button to show and then to edit show and then edit so I'll just do that right now so table data the first one we can eat and and let's call it a button. Button small. Button small. And let's do button outline. Button. I want to do times two of this. I'll just do times two of this. All right. Good. You know how fast this is. Okay. So with the delete, I'll just call it danger instead of instead of this. So edit. So this is edit. And this is delete. And then um we have okay. Now we don't need to link anything here. That's it. Right. Okay, we're done. Let's go here. Reload. We should see our table here. Okay, so we have edit, delete, and then the item that we have. So this will be the action: edit and delete. Okay, so let's go back to let's go back to the code and then start passing what you want to do. All right. So now we have this here, right? So let's go back to. to Let's go to to do create. To do create. What are we going to do? We are going to retain a view. And this, and before that, let me just go straight and create the view. So these are the views. I'll just call it add to do. And I'll do that blade. Dot HTML. Now let's go here. Let's return that view. So we just return that view. Return view. And then we'll call it add so you can see it will just come add to do let's do this we're done so let's go here so whatever is in the home controller so the home controller i didn't talk about this the home controller is actually inheriting something from what we call the layout of blade so layout let's go to layout add the blade these are what are here so um this is getting the get local that's the language and then um csf rf token that's cross site request for it and then um config file from the config file let's take the app name right and if it doesn't find any app name it just call it that but i'll just name it to go up and then it takes the gs from the the asset folder the public folder that it's created because it comes with bootstrap so all these things are from the bootstrap and then the css file also and there's a header this is the number here this is the number 
you want to add something, you can just go there. Ah, we are not going to get a change. We are just going to use this yield content. So this is where the content comes. So when you come to the home controller, it takes the layout, it extends this layout, and then at the section where we have yield content, we just type section content, and then at the end we end that section, right? And then within that we type this. So I just copy this, and I'll take it to add to do, right? Okay. So now add to do, right? Okay. So now we want to call the header here. The header here. Let's call it add to do. Add to do. Add to do. And then um, I think I think also. But this one we need to go back. So let's go. Let's try to go back. Okay. Go back. And then here is going to be to do that in there. And then to take us back right and here we don't need any session status here actually we don't need it good we don't need a table here we actually need a form all right okay so now i'm just going back here to my application on github Let me just reload this. Okay, so let me just go to resources and views. I think I'll just go to the layout. I want to add font awesome that I added. The font awesome link. You can just go here. Where is this? Yeah, that is it. Right here. Okay. So I'm just going to copy this and then include it to my app.blade. So let's go to app.blade. I think I just put it below this one. All right, so there, I did it. So now, um, that's it. And then here I can just do an attack, and then I'll just call it I dot. Um, I want to call it a font or some far far arrow left. Okay, so we did. So I'm just going back. I'm just going to just go into the home page here. And then I'll click on admin and then it should take us to this page. Great. All right, cool. So we have back, so we can go back and front. So now here we are going to include the form. Right. So we're just going to include the form. But before that, I can just go here and then copy that form. So I did it. I mean here. I can go here. Add to do. I don't want to start typing a lot. Um, so we can just go here. Okay. So this is a form. Just copy the form. Come to this place. Yeah. And then we can. Yeah. Okay. So this is a form. So this is what we are doing. The method is post. And then um, the route is call. Um, to do the store and then we retain the CSR RF token. If you don't add this to the form, the form will actually not be submitted. Now, here's the title label is title, and then this is the input it's title from form control. And then if there's an error, it will pop it up on the form. And blah blah blah, that is it. We, we can decide to make not make it required, and that's it. And then title is right here. That's if there's an error, which we also show here. And then the next thing to do, we have the description. The description should show us. It's just keep the same thing, but basically it's a text field area. And the next one is the form check. The form check. Um, that is it. We're done. And the button to submit. That is it. So now let's go back to admin. So let me just read reload this screen here. So now, even now, when we try to submit, nothing will happen. So let's see, um, get mango. Get mango. And completed nothing, let me just submit. Nothing will happen. So just go there, to that route. So nothing, nothing happened actually. So because the post method for that, we didn't write the controller for that. Let's go back to our to-do controller. 
um, come to store. So let's try to fill the data. So first thing that we do is we need to validate whatever is coming. So we do this and then we call it validate. It has a function called validate. And then we take it from the request that is coming. Okay, and then let's open a bracket, a square bracket. And the first thing that we are going to take is the title, right? And then we want to make the title required. So just make it required. Yeah. Like compulsion, the user needs to specify it. There's a string. There's a string. Um it's a string. And let, we can give it a maximum value that we want. So maximum value, let's say two five five characters. And then we come to the description next. Description is the next thing to add. And like you said, it's not level, right? And then we want to make it a string. And the next one is a completed at. So this I will write the logic here. So I'll just make it not level so it can be now, right? So I'll write the logic right here. All right. I think we are done. We, we are not taking the user ID from any form or anything. So now let's take the to do. So what we do is we type hash to do. I'm just giving it a variable and then we call the to do controller, the to do model. So you can see when, when I hit enter, it's just going to use this whole thing up here. So you could call it use app models from the models, use the to do model. Now let's come here. And then we want to, we want to create a new model, right? That's what I was just supposed to bring it. Model and, and then we want to take the title, so we need to do um, the title. The title it was our request, we are requesting from the input fields of the form. Input, and I want to call the title, and then after that, we want to also call the description. I want to do as request from the input and let me just copy this okay. all right and the next one is we want to take the completed that so we do as to do if the to do okay actually let me just let me just do this if I'll just write a controller for if the request has the request has um, completed. That's the name of the field completed. Then what should we do? Then we should do to do. We just have to update the completed field. Okay. We'll edit it. Uh, I mean, like we just update it. As long as that the user has completed that part. So if you select it, it means that you've completed it. That's it. And then the next one is we take the user ID. So to do user ID. So how do you do that? So Lava has um, a default function or model called auth to, to pick the current user. So we just do auth user. ID. So we just use the auto user ID from there. That is it. We're done. And then after that, we will save it to do. And then we save it. All right. We save it. And what we what should we do? Let's return the user back. We should return the user back. And then we should. Add a message to it so that one is called with and then the message is success let's call it success um let's just do the item with it successfully all right we're done so you should return the user with message for success and then the auth i just need to call the auth so it's a facade so when i come up here so we use illuminati Illuminate, sorry. 
to use Illuminate um, support the SAT uh, So I'll just go back here and call it use Illuminate facade and then up. Okay, so we're done. So now we can go back to the add to do and see whether everything is here. Okay, that's good. So now I actually sent, I actually wrote a message to here. So when I add, I'm not going to see any message, right? Wait, wait. Yeah, with success, item creator successfully. So let's go back here and then try to create one. So let's write get mangoes. Get mangoes. Description nothing completed, nothing is fine. So just submit. To redirect us back that will not see the message that was created so the message there's no message to show that it was created or it wasn't created or if there are other errors there's no message to show that it wasn't created all right so that's what we need to go we need to do so i'm just going up here i have two functions here so this is the success message i'll just include that one just put it above the form and this is for errors right so just above the form All right, so what it does is it's looking for the session status. If it has success, then let's alert success. Alert success is green in, with um how they call it hooked up, right? And then I have an icon here to close it to filter dismissal the alert. Right, I'll just dismiss it and then get section message. It should just type it should just put the session message here, right? And the errors. So for the errors, you can just go to Lava Validator. So yeah, I'll just go, I'll just type Lava. Uh, error message right let's click on it and i think i'll click on this one which was what i opened already so let's go here um straight up, 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 up. okay so yeah so this is this is the atm error message so you can just copy this right here let's copy let's go back to our code and then include it on top of Session status. Okay. Let's try to get it. So that's it. So that one is just giving it alert danger. And that is it. If we take the error, it will just list the errors for us. Now let's go here. Let's go here. Okay. So let me just try to submit. And it will give me errors here. Because the title is required. So it will return error for the title. So you can see title field is required. And then this is the error message that it's returned. That's only really required field that we have. So now let's submit. Get banana. And description, you can do that. But let me just match this one complete. Submit. All right, so item created successfully. So it's created. So now let's go back here to the to do page or the home page. And there's nothing here, right? So we are just going to, so the next thing we are going to do is to list whatever we created here. So let's go back here. And go back to the to do controller. To do controller right here. So in the home page, we're just going to get the to-dos. Right. So just do to-dos. Press to do. Um where so now we want to take the to-dos for only a particular user. So when you are logging, you need to see just your item. So where user ID. Is same as um, or the current user that is logging ID, and then um, we we take we order them by order by that's a function already created. So we want to use created that. So anyone that we create first should be at the top. So we'll be sending order. But if we type as any order, that means the one that we created the first first is going to be um the one on top but if you see descending order that's like the the current item that you create is going to be on top so we type get get it all right done now here here how do you return this value so we just do compact compact and then return compact that is it now we go back to the home view we go back to the home view and then try to retain these items. Good. 
So we're just going to do something like um, for else. Yeah, for else. So for else, what it does is we are just going to return the and then we call it to do. So for for each to do item, right? Right, as to do. So each item is called to do here. Let's return this thing here. All right, yeah. And then if it is empty, just return this and type. No item. Just type no item. That's it. We're done. That's if it's empty. You just return this. Now let's come back here. So if if you actually go back here, you see that this thing will be replicated twice because you have two items included. There. So let me just get rid of this. It should replicate twice because you have two items. Okay, so you can see we have two items in the table. So now let's just return the thing. The, the title of the item. So and let's see what happens. Great. So get banana, it's on top, and then get one goes at it. Okay, so that is it. Now let's come here. So um, I want to make sure that the item is being completed or it's not completed, right? So in this case, I'm going to do if, I'm going to write a statement, if else, right? If our to-do item is completed. If it's completed, because it's a Boolean, that means that this place is supposed to be one. But someone could actually write, if it is equal to equal to one, the same as if it is completed, because it's a Boolean phrase in the database. So you don't need to worry. Now, if it is completed, let's just return this, and then this one will return, right? Now, if it is completed, we want to strike this, right? We want to strike this. If it is completed, let's just say strike. So we write a line. Else, just show it. Now, let's go back here. Print this. So, I think we selected banana to be completed. So, I think we see a strike line on it. Good. So we can see the banana is completed. So that is a strike. Good. And then the mango is not completed. Right. We can add a new item to verify. Get oranges. So get some oranges. Oh, all right. And then let's mark it complete. Submit. Okay, let's go back. Good. So you can see get some oranges is completed. So edit, delete, there's nothing there. Nothing will happen because because you've not linked them to anything. So let's let's do that right now. Okay. So now we have to do the title. So we want to make sure that when the user clicks on title, we should be able to take them to this page, edit view. But before then, let's just do that. So let's just do route, we call route, and then to do dot edit, to do dot edit. And then it takes, it takes in an item ID. So we just take, we just pass in the ID. And they destroy to the same thing. I want to just take in the route, and then to do dot destroy. Right, but before then, I won't add anything right now. So let's let's wait. Let's wait for this part. Okay. So now the edit, I don't want to show this. I just want to show an icon. So I just do i i dot on front or something. I think it's a pencil. Yeah, pencil. Yeah, square. Let me just include it. All right. And then the delete to I think it's an I bar bar trash. I want to say trash. Let's go back here. Click on this. Okay, so we're here. Yeah, I think so now you can take us to the edit page. But the delete page, nothing is there right now. So this is great. We're done. All right, we're done with this page. Now I'm just going to the title here. I'm just going to make it um, clickable. 
Apologies is ETF. And um, routes dot edit. I'll give it the edit function. Hash to do ID. Same thing, and I'll put it here. All right, cool. Now, I think this one will give it a color. I'll just put the strike here. The eight tag has a default color that it will give. Let's go to the item. So let's go back here. Reload this page. All right, so it's giving it a blue color. I don't want to, I just want it to be black. So I'll just I'll just give this whole thing the star the star color I'll just use it black black right cool done and then next all right so when I click edit I should go there so now let's let's go back to the edit page to see that so on the edit page so we are just going to create a few call edit right so I'm going to do edit to do edit to do dot page dot page all right so whatever is in the ad I'll just copy this and paste it here right okay okay so in this case we can go back to everything here but we'll just type edit to do you don't need to do to do can just we can actually just return the item this is to do title get in title we want to edit this item right and then we can go back and then these error messages are here the session status if it is success that's great and then the post method is called update so we call update and then it's done because it's an update it has a method so we just call a method at method and then we call it put that's a put entity, right? If you can remember from the route here. So this great template maintain the existing form. So yeah, so that's it. So we can see it's a put or patch. So you can put patch here or put it to make the same thing. All right, but we'll come back to edit this one. But I just need to go to this page so that I can show you what you have there. So let's let's reload this page. okay so nothing is there because you've not written the controller so let's go to controller and then let's go straight to edit edit page all right cool so edit so what we do is we'll, we'll find the item right we'll find the item that we want and then we want to make sure that the user is selecting their item so we do ash to do that's the like um i mean dollar sign to do that's a function and then we'll do to you will do where uh, I always like to add the user ID because we want the user to see be able to see only the items that belong to them. So where the ID is whatever we are taking. That's the ID here that is coming. So we are taking the ID from the um from the route. And then um we also want to pick the user. The, it must be belong to the user. Where the user ID the user ID is the same as what? ID. and then we want to get it but here i'll just type first so that it's just one item so first so just pick that particular item and then we want to return the view return view view and then edit to do yeah that's the name of the view that we created and then compact compact and then we are returning the to do right and if if you go here to edit to do which is right here i think i have to do i can close it right. so to edit to do if you go here we can see that um we are returning the title here where is it yeah to do the title here so when we go when we click on it we should see the title of the item so let me go back here i'm just going back to, to do and then when i go back to to do i just click on one so let's go to bananas so i'll click on it 
click on it okay something is wrong here um required parameter for our update okay uh makes sense all right so because of the form that i edited here the form is an item um a parameter so that to do that we click to do dot id that particular to do that we sent okay so i'm just reloading the page and then click us there all right so we're there so you can see edit banana right so the next thing to do is let's move to return these values here and then uh, Just a moment. Um, edit to do. So let's try to return the title. So the title in this case, you're not going to return any old value here. Okay. Actually, there's actually email there. But don't, don't worry, you can just edit it. So ash to do title. That's the value. I think we'll do the same for the description. description was it okay and put it all the way from here to here description and then the checkbox actually this checkbox in but you actually need to write a logic for it so let me just do that right now so I'll just type, um, I'll just put this, right? Um, the value is just to be dot completed. Okay. But nothing will happen actually. So I'll just pick this and then I'll just write some, an if else statement. So we just say if that to do that we select, that we are working on is completed. It's completed, let's put this from here. And let's also put another one here, right? So if it's completed, we just say checked. The user checked it. Else, just show this. And then completed. And then that is it. Submit. We're done. I want to change this button to a green button so that you are editing success. And that is it. I think that's that's all for now. Let's go here. Let's edit this page. Let's reload this page actually. And good okay so that is it so you can see it's checked because the user checked it so now we can check it and then submit right but we need to go back to the controller and then write it so we we actually indicated the edit but the next route is update right update you could just copy whatever is here let's just copy whatever is here and then uh title title is the same the description is the same and then also the completed that is also the same they are both all of them the same and then here we don't need to do this we just need to do to do we are finding to do by id right hashtag okay and then um we want to um request the title the description and then this way another logic comes in so we just say if if um it is complete let's return this else then we return an else statement else else we just say ash okay dollar sign to do dot completed to do completed was false all right and then let's look at the user id the user id is right there actually this is the old user id and then um we don't need to actually return the user because the user already created it so we don't need to do that we can just do that and save it and then we want to redirect them back with success and then we say item updated successfully updated successfully now let's go back to this page reload so i'll just i'll just uncheck this box probably add some and then submit and then to redirect us back and then you can see the completed will not be selected all right completed so you can see completed is not selected and then there that's a description that we added so this completed 
I will change the title to edited so that you can go back and check. All right, so that's it. Yeah, we're done. You will get banana edited. This one's it. Get banana edited. Try it. Now, the next page is the delete. Right, that's the delete phase. When we click on delete, that's what happened here. But ideally, you should you should take us to a page that will tell the user, hey, do you want to delete this then? Yeah. And if the user wants to delete, then the user will continue from there. Right. So I'll just call to do delete. Uh call it to do delete. Okay, let's go here. Or delete to do. Alright, let's see. Let's go here. Delete to do. Delete to do. Dot delete. Dot and I'll return a view for it. I think we've used every almost everything. Let's destroy it left. Let me see. Yeah, we have show. So we can actually use this this thing to return the item that is user clicks on. So let's go back to um here. Let's go here um to the show page. And let's type uh, I think I'll just type hash to do. And I'll, it's basically the same thing I use for edit. Okay, I'll just pick whatever I see. I don't need to just worry myself. I can whatever to do. But in this case, we return the delete to do. And then we return the to do right here. Now, in the delete to do, I think we can just copy whatever is in the edit. It's really. So at the top here, we'll just type delete. It's a deleting bit. You can go back if you want. And the suggestion status here, success. If Something is there. We don't need that show. Oh, it's not success. We're not going to return it on this page. And then here, that's a post method. Here is called destroy. That's a method. And then the method here is called delete. That's the delete method. And we don't need all these forms. So we don't need them. All of them. We don't need. We only need to write. Um, there's a button that we want. I think there's a button. Here. Okay, so now we'll just as a user. Um, I think I'll just put this one. Okay, I'll just copy this and paste it. And let's see. As a user question, we just as a user question. I don't need an any offset for this. Okay, oh, I don't need anything for that. Let me just make it the top column. Let's put the right thing. And it should take some H3 and H3 is actually very good. Let me just put this there. And then we just ask, are you sure whatever you want to delete? And then we just change the item title for them to. delete and then um stop okay so yeah we just type here if you want to delete it let's see yeah and then i will just return another one so i'll just call it yes and then danger and just put it here and then i will return an href so that will take us back about to do index and then we just call it out. I'll just give the class of button. Button. Button equal. And then we type not. Okay. Okay. So now let's go back to the home page here. The delete. Yeah. I think I'll just copy this. Out here. And I'll paste it here. And then remember to use the show for the easier to get into it so now let's go back here and reload this page and i want to delete get mango so let's go here click on it so as usual we can go back or the user can type okay let me try to center this 
out and is it page for and so it has text in there. Okay. All right, so we are there. So the user does if the user wants to delete, yes, no, yes, that's it. So when you click no, it, look at the route down here. It will take us back to our to do. So I just click yes. And then nothing happens, right? Nothing happens because we didn't do anything here in the route. So let's go here. So it's still there. The item is still there. So the item is still there. So when I reload it, it's still there. So let's go back to our controller. For the destroy, we need to write a function there. Okay. I think it's down here. The last one. Okay. So that's the last one. And we just pick the to do that is coming in. And to do that can be defined by ID to do. And then we do and then we do delete. That's all. That's why it's coming in. That's just delete. Right. You can write other validation like the way you wrote the query for this for the show. So you can pick the to do by this by force, right? So that it needs to be from the user. I shouldn't just do that. That one is the best way to do it. So that people don't just be deleting things. And then the update to let's do the same thing. Good. So that we know we know that whatever is coming it is from the user. Right? Because of the script issue. Uh, sorry, return. And then let's let's just redirect them redirect them back to the redirect to the route call index and to do that index and to do that index and then we we add a message call it success item object success Okay. Okay. So now, I think that's it, All right? So let's go back to the home page. We need to actually input a message here to show that we deleted the thing. So let me just go here and copy the message here. Yes, success, success message. So home page just below there. This is the because I just put it here. All right, cool. This that's just above the table. All right, let's go back to the room and then let's do this but yes it should take us back to do with the message for item deleted so you can see the item has been deleted all right i think i think they are done yeah we are basically done with everything so that's it that is it i think we're done everything is finished now okay all right, so if you need the code, you can just, if you just want the code, you can just go to gtechhub slash lava to the link is in the description also. You can just click on it and then, so before we leave, let me just test with another user. Um, let me just test. So this user is called Calculus, right? Let me just try to log out. I'll log out and it will take me to the login page. That's like, it's, it wants to go back to the index page, which will redirect us, us to the login page. So I'll just register with another user. I just call it key take up and I'll just do info at key take up dot com and I'll just do password key take up limited hub one two three five one two wait the password is not this here key take So let me register and we should see this user created okay so if the user doesn't have anything or to do okay all right one last thing i forgot to edit the page here for views no not that one controllers http and then to do controller let's pick whatever is in the index page right we are picking whatever is in the index page and then let's take it to the home page Okay. 
actually we don't need to do that we can just redirect the user to this page it's direct redirect to the route index okay and just rely the user so let me just redo this page and then start again all right so we're there so that's it so the, this user has no item right and the user can't view someone's item so let me just um the user can't view in someone's item so i think to do dot one something is there right should return an error so i'm just going to control this error message right yeah so let's go back to the to-do controller and then where we are showing a particular item so okay this is actually part but let me just use this one first so just say if just do if um not to do if not to do sorry just mean not yeah if not to do if not to do then we switch to our bot about for which cannot be found right let's copy it i think i'll add it to the show page right here okay yeah all right so now let's go here so i'll just reload this and tell you page cannot be found good so that means that the user cannot view someone's item good um i think let me see whether i need to put it anywhere i think that's all All right, we're done. So now this user can add an item, and then when I add an item, I should basically see what belongs to that particular user. Let me just see. Go to this page. Is that also this page? No, that's it. Submit. And we should be redirect back. Success. Item created. When we go back, this user just has one item. Great. And then this user can you can now view your item, and then you can also delete. Just delete. All right, we're done. Great. I think that's all for now. So, see you um, in my next tutorial. But if you haven't subscribed, kindly subscribe for more tutorials on Lava. Yeah, I'm just this is just the beginning. This is the start of my Lava project. The next one I'll create this. Like a complete website how to create a website but we'll just be using the front end view and then the we'll create a dashboard for the users to be updating their information all the time yeah all right see you bye